Hello Yellow Class, welcome to your learning today. Today's lesson we're going to learn about arrays and how we can use them to find different equations. First I'm going to show you on the abacus and then I'll show you how to do it on the Slavonic abacus. You should have one of these in your resource pack. I hope that my video helped you. First we're going to have a look at the calculation 3 multiplied by 2 equals and we need to find the product. We're going to use the abacus for this and we're going to make our array. 3 multiplied by 2 means that we have 3 2 times, so I've got 3, 6, 3, 2 times. Now I know that the product of 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, but that's not the only calculation I can see when looking at this array. Let me explain. We have 3 2 times, but if I were to flip my abacus the other way, I've also got 2 3 times, but I've still got 6. So that means I've got 2 multiplication equations. I've got 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6, and 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. And that's just like the relationships that we looked at in maths yesterday. So now we've got these two multiplication equations from the array. But there's also two division equations we can find with the array as well. First, you have to start with the whole, which we know is 6. And if I was to do 6 divided into 3, so 1, 2, 3, I can see that I've got 2. So 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2. But I could also do 6 divided by 2. And if I do 6 divided by 2, I've got 3. So that's two division, division calculations that we found from that array as well. As you can see from this array here, I've been able to have these four equations. And that's the same with any array, unless you're multiplying the same number by each other. This time we're going to have a look at 4 multiplied by 5 as an array. I'm going to use the Slavonic abacus to do this and you've got one of these in your resource pack at home. So 4 multiplied by 5 means that you have got 4 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. That's 2 times, 3 times four times, five times. So from looking at that array, I can see I've got four, five times. Now, because I'm good at counting in my fours, I can see that I've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So the product of four multiplied by five equals 20. If I flip my abacus, I've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 times, 5, 4 times. And counting in my 5s, I can see 5, 10, 15, 20. So 5 multiplied by 4 also has the product of 20. Now that I know the product is 20, this would be the first number in my division calculation from the array. I've got 20 in total and I'm going to divide it by 5 because I know that I've got 5 rows here. I'm going to circle the top row and count how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I know that 20 divided by 5 equals 4. has the quotient of 4. If I flip my abacus again, I know that I've still got 20 in total, but this time I'm going to divide by 4 because I've got 4 rows now. I'm going to circle that top row and count how many I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I know that the quotient of 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So as you can see this time, I started with 4 multiplied by 5 and made my array. And then I moved the abacus around to make 5 multiplied by 4, 20 divided by 5, and 20 divided by 4. And those are the four equations that I have from that one array.
The next step would be to draw your array yourself. So for example, if you started with five multiplied by six equals, you would draw five six times. One, two, three, four, five, and do that six times. So now I've drawn my array. I can see that I've got five, six times. And if I count in fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the product of five multiplied by six equals 30. And if I flip my array, this time I've got six, five times. So my next equation, would be six multiplied by five equals 30, because I've still got the same number of dots. If I wanted to do my division calculations, both times I would start with the total, and then I would see that I've got six rows here, so I'm dividing by six, and I would circle that top row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the quotient of 30 divided by 6 equals 5. Then I would flip my array once more and I can see that I've got 5 rows this time. So I'm doing 30 divided by 5 and I'm going to circle that top row and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 30 divided by 5 equals 6. I really hope that this lesson has helped you understand how to use arrays to find four different equations. Let me know how you get on. See you soon.